coffee. Happy November 1st, you guys. It is officially Christmas season, as I like to call it. I personally love Christmas, and love is like an understatement. My favorite holiday, favorite time of year. I get so excited just thinking about it. So November 1st, I kind of started a tradition of putting up the Christmas tree. I might not decorate it, but I am gonna put it up today in today's vlog. So I have my tree right here, and this is a tree that I got specifically for the RV because it is slim and it is smaller, so it's not like super wide. It's not gonna take up a lot of room, and I feel like it is perfect for smaller spaces. I used it last year, and my husband just took it out of storage. So we're gonna put it up today. The kids are so excited. They asked if they could put their Christmas pajamas on yesterday, and we are like jumping right into the holiday season. So if you guys love the holidays like we do, then hopefully you will love this vlog as well. So let's put up the Christmas tree. All right, you guys, are you ready for this? Yes! Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. It is looking so cozy and Christmassy already. I'm not gonna hang the stockings just yet. I put those away and then also the ornaments I didn't do just yet. I'll probably do those closer to like December. But let me show you a close up of the tree because I love these kinds of tips. They just feel and look so realistic even though this tree is flocked. It is a little bit messy but Great quality in my opinion, really easy to assemble. So as you guys saw, there was the base, the bottom, the middle, and the top. And then a quick little fluff up, and you have this gorgeous, gorgeous tree. And then this garland I got from Hobby Lobby a few years back. Sorry, my kids are playing in the other room here, wondering what that noise is. Really love this garland I had in our old house as well, previous home. And then these are just like random things that I found. I think it was at, um, I think I found those at Dollar General, and they do look very cheap, but I plan to add some real like pine stems or something from outside, kind of like tuck them in to make it look a little bit more expensive, but look at how warm and cozy. It's like slowly starting to look Christmassy, and I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna make a little charcuterie spread for me and the kids. Aldi has the best affordable charcuterie finds, in my opinion, the end of the year, like the winter time season. They have so many great unique crackers, especially cheeses. Their deli meats are kind of the same, but when it comes to cheeses and crackers and like jams and stuff and nuts, they come out with a lot of unique items at the end of the year. So I picked up a few things. I got this truffle cheddar cheese. I got a few crackers and it's really affordable, like I said. So I got some sea salt crackers so waffle crackers and sesame some deli meats salamis and I'm gonna slice up an apple for some texture some sweetness some tartness to the charcuterie spread I love using apples some pickles for the kids and I mean you could add anything you could add a nuts dried fruit actually I have some dried fruit let me grab them because Aldi also has really great like dried fruit options I might also add in some peanuts for the kids because the kids love peanuts but I got some dried cherries here and then dried mango. You can literally get as creative as you want when it comes to charcuterie boards. I'm just going to do like a simple one for me and the kids. One of my most popular videos on my channel is actually the whole charcuterie spread that I did. Which was when I like first started my channel. I don't even watch that video because I like cringe. 
but I love doing charcuterie spreads and you can be really affordable with them you don't have to spend a lot especially if you go to somewhere like LD I feel like LD really kills it with the spreads so let's make a little charcuterie spread I think I'm gonna start with the meats first and they did have some really cute little cutting boards at LD like ones that were shaped like a leaf an acorn but I figured you know what I already have cutting board so I'm not gonna waste money on that you know what I think I'm actually gonna use this pizza pizza peel here but we're gonna flip it So I usually do the cheese, crackers, and meats. And I got these, I think, from Amazon. They come in, like I said, a four with like a fork. And this cheese is crumbly, so I like to leave it on the tray like this. This is the truffle cheese, and it is so delicious. Highly recommend trying it from Aldi. I want to try it. Let me know what you think. So good. It's so creamy. I love like a creamy, crumbly cheese. So once I have that, then I like to go in with the fillers, whether it's nuts, dried fruit, apples, pickles, cucumbers, grapes, tomatoes, which I forgot I have tomatoes as well. Let me actually wash them real quick. Tomatoes on the vine look so pretty on a charcuterie board. And now I'm just going to kind of fill in, add some pops of color here and there. Here's the finished charcuterie board, super easy, super simple. As long as you have the main things on hand like cheese, crackers, and deli, you can get as creative as you want. And sorry, those are my kids again, they're just playing. And one tip that I would give when it comes to charcuterie boards is try not to leave any gaps or spaces because when you leave gaps and spaces, I feel like that's when it starts to look, I don't know, like a little sparse. When you kind of cram everything in and fill it in, if you have any gaps, you can just, you know, take some dried fruit, nuts, anything like that and fill them in. So I'm gonna take some peanuts actually and grab them. And right now, Aldi has really great peanuts. I think they have like peppered cashews or something like that, so. Just really great finds overall at Aldi right now. But just go ahead and fill in any gaps using peanuts, anything you have in hand. I love charcuterie boards, especially if you're having guests over and you want like a quick bite or something. They're just a great thing to put together real quick and then nibble on while you guys sit around the table or wherever and chat. I'm gonna go ahead and call my kids and we are going to enjoy this deliciousness right good morning it is the next morning i have eloise here with me i'm headed to the store right now because my daughter needs some things for a germination project she's going to be doing stuff that i don't have at home like seeds i just don't randomly have them lying around so i think i'm going to hit up probably dollar tree because sometimes they have seeds and if not then i'll just hop over to walmart and then i also have to return a package i bought a few dresses on amazon i want to stock up on a few dresses because I don't really have a lot of dresses in general and especially right now for like the fall winter time whether it's holiday parties I have a baby shower that I'm going to this weekend Christmas Thanksgiving New Year's church in general I just want to have a few dresses to go in between because I really don't have a lot so I found a few and I have another a few others in my cart I haven't purchased yet one of them I'm keeping well actually it's like a two-piece two dresses that I combine into one and I'll show you guys that one when I get back home but this one I'm gonna be returning because it's a little bit too white for the vision I had in mind. It's a gorgeous dress. It's like a satin type dress. Here's the material. It is absolutely 
beautiful. I'll actually insert a video of what it looks like on me. It's very beautiful. It has the silicone up top to keep it in place. And then the back is gorgeous. It's, it has like this drapey back. But I'm returning it, like I said, because it's too white. I want to wear a sweater on top. And my sweater is a cream color. And it's just, it's too much of a drastic difference. So I'm going to return this one and buy a champagne one instead. And then maybe in the future, when I get the other dresses, because I have a few in my cart, like I said, I'll do a video on some fall winter dresses because Amazon actually has some cute options. So that's what's on today's agenda. And then I have the dresser coming in. I didn't mention it in this vlog, but if you guys watched a few of my other vlogs, I'm slowly making the kids' room less look less like in an RV and more like a room, like make it look super homey and cozy, but yet still functional. So I've been working on that for the past couple of weeks or so, and I finally bought a dresser. I settled on a dresser, and it should be coming in today. Hopefully it does not disappoint, and I'll show you guys when that comes in. So that's what is on today's agenda. And I might stop by Starbucks because even though I have a really great machine at home, that I love the espresso out of and I don't love Starbucks espresso. I do love going to Starbucks for like these specialty drinks and I saw that they came out with their holiday cups and I don't know what it is, it's just like nostalgia. To get it once a season at least, a nostalgic holiday drink. Stop by Starbucks and we got the holiday cup drinks. Once these holiday cups drop, that means the holidays are officially here. Starbucks knows exactly what it's doing. But I got the Grande Creme Brulee Latte very very sweet it's basically like sugar with a splash of coffee in there <laughs> so i don't get this all the time i actually don't go to starbucks now that i have my own espresso machine at home that makes really good espresso but there's just something about getting like one holiday cup drink during the holiday season for anyone trying to buy seeds this time of year slim pickings i mean it makes sense it's november there's literally no seeds not in the dollar store usually the dollar store does have like a gardening section but right now it's just purely holiday stuff which i'm not mad about and i was gonna buy some seeds on amazon and then i called my husband he's like why don't you just buy some lima beans so picked up a bag of lima beans on Am um, at walmart and those usually germinate pretty well so we're gonna use that for her project and i also got chai a little scratching post because the little bench that i got from Amazon, she uses it as her scratching post and I don't like that. So I got her her own scratching post and hopefully she uses that. She used to use a basket where we keep the stuffed toys in, but now that's shoved under the bench so she can't get to it. So she just uses the bench and I'm like, mm -mm, girl, not this furniture. Home sweet home. And I'm going to unbox this furniture piece that came in that I was talking about. It is from the brand Mopio, which this box is heavy. <laughs> pretty heavy. I don't know how my husband brought it up. This brand right here. And they sell on Amazon. They, oh, <laughs> they have a nightstand dresser situation that I want to buy for our home home if it's still in stock. I've had it in my save for later for like months now and I saw it go viral on Instagram and I was like no don't go viral because usually when something goes viral on Instagram then it just sells out and you can't get your hands on it. But I was looking at their other items and they have a really cute storage piece that I want to add right here behind me where the kids toys are so that I can finally make it look homier because this whole situation is not working for me and there are two queen beds above me that drop down when it's time to go to sleep and the dresser is going to be too high for the bed to lower all the way down so I'm going to have to move it every single night that part's going to be annoying but it's the price you pay sometimes so it is what it is at this point, but yeah, let's go ahead and assemble this piece. Here is what the dresser looks like. I took out some of the panels. It's a beautiful like oak color and the dresser that went viral that a lot of people use as nightstands is this exact color right here. If anybody wants to know what that dresser looks like on video, I actually want to get the medium colored version of that dresser for our home instead of the light one but for here I decided to get the lighter one because I have a really light furniture piece right there so I kind of wanted it to blend a little bit with all the warmer tones I could have totally done a dark brown as well I feel like a dark brown we have a lot of dark browns in the RV so I'm gonna put this together off camera and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all put together I don't think it's gonna be too complicated but don't call me on that I'll let you guys know <laughs> once I'm done
We are done. I wanted to show you guys the final product before the sunset. This is it. It's not complicated to do at all. It's just very time consuming. The only thing that I struggled with was the base because the instructions were missing a step. So I watched the video on the product page and it clarified it. And then the doors, my husband has to make them more symmetrical aligned, all of that. But it's a beautiful solid piece, especially for under $300. The color is gorgeous. It's super heavy and sturdy. Like it doesn't feel cheap to me at all. And it does have the adjustable shelves in here. The Lego boxes I was gonna put underneath. And according to the dimensions, they were supposed to fit, but I ended up taking the tops off because they don't fit under here. So I might just get some baskets and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm so happy with it. I feel like this room looks so much more like a room versus like in an RV. And then this I actually found at Aldi for $14.99 like this gorgeous textured vase and then these are faux i might add in some stems from outside to kind of make it look a bit more christmasy and more realistic and then i also bought a stand for the fiddle leaf plant there this is the end result here's a little panoramic view let me know what you guys think i feel like this looks so much more cozier and looks like a a home we've got chai over there exploring but i also forgot i wanted to show the amazon dresses so let me go in the room and show you that gorgeous Amazon dress that I bought because it is beautiful. Here are the two dresses here. They're actually two dresses, like I said. I saw an influencer on Amazon post these exact two that she was wearing and I was like, that looks gorgeous. So I decided to buy it. It is such a beautiful dress. It has pearls and rhinestones. I don't know why my camera's acting up and not wanting to focus, but it's just so gorgeous and stunning. They do sell shirts, long sleeve and short sleeved and Kind of sleeveless in this style with like nude if you wanted nude white but i got the long dress version with a slit in the back and then to go with it this is the dress she was wearing in the photo so i grabbed it as well it's like a knot tie front strapless dress it's very similar in length and then it also has a slit in the back to kind of match the dress so let me put it on and show you guys and then also these shoes here which are absolutely stunning these rhinestone bow shoes i actually have Something very similar that I got last year. Or no, maybe it was like two years ago. It was definitely not last year. It was actually two or three years ago. Probably two. For my birthday. Yeah, I think it was for my 30th birthday if I'm not mistaken. But these beautiful pink ones, they do get dirty though. I have to wash them. Here's the first dress. I wanted to show you this one because it is an actual dress all on its own. It's ribbed and it has, I just popped this pit ball, don't mind. It has like this knot front detail here. And then it has... A slit in the back it's also very pretty you can wear this with a blazer you can wear it in the summertime it's very like form-fitting and it comes in multiple colors this is what the combo looks like together I think it is absolutely stunning especially with these shoes here this whole ensemble would be perfect in my opinion for New Year's New Year's Eve it's just look at how it like glistens and glitters and if you wanted to you can wear the one underneath for the summertime you can wear it with a blazer this one is sold the rhinestone one it's marketed as a beach cover-up which i personally would wear it to the beach i feel like it would just be so uncomfortable so this is just one option that i saw and i really loved and i feel like again it would just be perfect for new year's eve there's actually a bag that i saw that i'm wanting to buy on amazon as well it was like a black bag with a handle made out of pearls i feel like that would be perfect for this dress here and then also some dangly silver earrings and you guys saw the dress earlier that one i do love it it's just way too white for what i was looking for so i'm gonna look for a champagne version they do have a champagne version of that dress but i'm thinking to get one that has like straps and then there are two other dresses that i'm eyeing for like the holidays and just to have in my collection for you know all these events that i'm going to once i get those i would love to do like an amazon dress haul for the fall winter time but this right here is i mean it is just look at this so gorgeous and then here's the back it has that slit this is why the dress underneath is absolutely perfect for this especially the length as well i'm gonna finish the video here i'm so excited for the holidays just wanted to do like a holiday vlog for the past two days i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me thank you so much for watching along i'll link anything down below and hopefully i'll see you guys in future videos